Hi guys, Sandy here. In this video today, we're going to talk about the slice and the flat volley. Now, this is something we see loads of players trying to hit so much slice, they end up making a mistake on the ball or it slides on the racket. And the other occasion is when players hit flat and they give their opponents an easy ball. So in this video, we're going to talk about when you should be using either of those, where you should be aiming. And also at the end of the video, we're going to give you a bonus tip on how to make that volley a little bit more effective. So just to set the scene and the game situation in the point, you and your partner are at net, your opponent's at the back of the court. You've hit a previously good shot, whether that's a good serve off the glass or a previous volley into one of the corners or a bandeja. Your opponents are giving you a medium to weak reply, which is something that is kind of a neutral ball around chest to shoulder height, something like this. And you and your partner or whoever's hitting has to make that decision. Am I gonna hit slice on this or flat on this? So let's look at those two options. So looking at the flat option first, now you know if you hit flat on that ball, the ball will bounce off that back glass a little bit higher than if you were to hit slice on it. So if you are gonna hit flat, you want to make sure that you hit quite fast on that ball. Now if you've come from tennis, the objective in tennis with your volley is just to hit past your opponent. You don't have a wall there, it's not going to rebound, so you don't really care, and it's actually kind of quite common to hit a little bit flatter. But in paddle, obviously that rebound comes into play, and therefore you need to make sure that you use the fast flat volley at the right time. A good time to use this would be if your previous volley has gone kind of deep into that corner and your opponent is forced against the glass then that is a good time to come forward and be attacking and hit that next ball fast and flat with the volley the other good time is if your opponents actually are approaching so maybe they try to hit a chiquita and they run forward but actually it comes up a bit and you're in this position here and you want to actually kind of hit either towards the body or towards the feet you want to generate a little bit more speed that is another good time to play fast and flat. So when it comes to slice, you've really got two main options. You either want to hit your slice so that it gives your opponents a very difficult ball, which would really be a setup volley. So you go into that corner, lower speed, and you want to keep that second bounce by that back glass so they're really pressed up against the glass to give you an easier ball on the next one. Or you might come in and try to finish with that slice volley. And either that might be a slice down to the fence or fast towards that back glass so it really stays low after the back glass. We've given a couple of options as well if you want to consider the drop shot in this video here. I'll put the link up here and in the description. But really, when it comes to choosing when to hit that slice volley, you want to look at see where your opponents are, see what type of ball you get. If it's easy then you can be a little bit more aggressive. If it's more difficult, then you might want to play that ball a little bit more sensibly. The key to being a good volleyer is to being sensible. And like a lot of areas of paddle, it's to play within your capabilities. So the most common error when it comes to volleys is players trying to go for too much. They're either trying to hit loads of spin on that ball and end up chopping down on the ball, or they're trying to hit a winner off a ball that's you know by their knees. And, and that's something that we see lots of mistakes being made at net because players are going for too much. The bonus tip for more effective volleys are think about the speed of your shot. That is actually as important, if not more important, than the spin. Here you want to make sure if you're trying to set up and push them in the corners, it's a slower volley. And obviously if you're trying to finish, it's gonna be a faster volley. Because if, for example, you actually hit the ball a little bit flatter than you would like, but the speed is right, you will still find that they have a difficult ball in that corner. So the speed is often that something that people don't consider. They hit all their volleys same fast speed, and they I don't think that a slow ball down the middle, for example, with a second bounce by that back glass will be effective, but that's actually one of the most effective volleys. So if you do find that you're actually hitting a little bit fast and flat on your volleys, it probably works at the beginner level because your opponents are not used to the rebound. Once you play someone who is good off the glass, they will just let that ball bounce and they'll attack you straight back. You also see it works quite well at the World Paddle Tour level because in that level they hit such accurate setup shots that their only option when they get an easy one is to hit fast and flat through the ball so that the ball really comes almost back to their own side. Now, if you want to improve the kind of slice on your volleys, I've got some more technical videos I'll put them on this side and here we discuss how to hit the slice with the drop shot but also the attacking slice finishing volley.